Wind power holds immense potential for clean energy. But in urban and off-grid regions, conventional turbines often underperform. Buildings, vegetation, and terrain reduce wind speeds, limiting energy output. To overcome this, our study focuses on duct augmented wind turbines, or DOTS, an innovative approach designed to enhance wind capture through aerodynamic ducting. A DOT uses a duct or diffuser to channel and accelerate wind flow through the turbine rotor. This results in increased mass flow and power extraction. Two aerodynamic factors are critical in this process. Pressure recovery. This can be explained in detail as follows. As the duct diverges downstream, the flow experiences a reduction in velocity, resulting in an increase in static pressure in accordance with Bernoulli's principle. This process is referred to as pressure recovery. The reduction in downstream velocity necessitates a corresponding increase in upstream velocity to satisfy the principle of mass continuity, thereby enhancing the flow rate through the rotor. The second factor is the low pressure at the duct outlet, or low back pressure, which creates a back suction effect that draws more upstream flow through the rotor. The two key aerodynamic factors govern this process, pressure recovery and back pressure, are strongly influenced by the duct's geometry and dimensions. Although these mechanisms have been studied before, most research treats them independently. This study addresses that gap by examining their combined effect on turbine performance using a hybrid modeling approach. We used a two-phase method. First, we performed computational fluid dynamics CFD simulations on empty ducts to assess aerodynamic behavior. In the second phase of the study, the turbine was incorporated into the empty simulations to capture duct-rotor flow interactions. Alongside a modified blade element momentum, MBM model was applied, which accounts for both the rotor blade geometry and duct-specific aerodynamic effects, particularly the pressure recovery coefficient and back pressure coefficient. This MBM approach enhances the conventional BM model by modifying the axial momentum equation to incorporate the effects of pressure recovery and back pressure. The inclusion of these coefficients enables MBIM to more accurately predict rotor performance under the influence of duct geometry. The back pressure coefficient and pressure recovery coefficient are numerically determined using CFD simulations. This is because CFD provides realistic and geometry-specific data on pressure recovery and back pressure. The combination of MBM and CFD, computational fluid dynamics, leverages the strengths of both methods to achieve a more efficient and comprehensive analysis of ducted turbine systems. Both methods have been validated by comparing their results with existing experimental data on ducted turbines, demonstrating good agreement. This suggests that the approaches are reliable for predicting the aerodynamic performance of duct augmented turbine systems. The ducts were tested with varying lengths, expansion angles, and flange sizes. We examined how each parameter influenced pressure recovery, back pressure, and velocity acceleration through the duct inlet, where the rotor is typically placed. Our results show that longer ducts improve pressure recovery by enabling gradual flow expansion, thereby sustaining a more effective recovery process. Additionally, Increasing the duct expansion angle helps facilitate downstream flow expansion, which enhances pressure recovery. However, if the expansion angle becomes too large, it can lead to flow separation, weakening the expansion and diminishing the overall recovery efficiency. Low back pressure is observed in the downstream region of the duct across various duct lengths and expansion angles. However, the differences between configurations are minor in contrast, incorporating flanges of varying dimensions at the duct outlet has a more significant effect in reducing back pressure and thereby enhancing the suction effect, primarily due to the strong flow circulation generated behind the flange. However, this circulation can also induce flow separation near the duct exit wall, which negatively affects pressure recovery. 
the most effective design balances these opposing aerodynamic effects by combining a long duct with a moderately sized flange. In the full blade simulation, both CFD and MBM show strong agreement in demonstrating the effectiveness of ducted configurations with enhanced static pressure recovery and reduced back pressure in significantly improving turbine performance. Notably, a turbine enclosed within an optimized duct design can achieve a power coefficient greater than 0.63, surpassing the BETS limit of 0.593 for bare turbines. These findings highlight the critical role of precise aerodynamic shaping in enhancing energy capture and underscore its importance as a central strategy in the design of high-efficiency ducted turbine systems. Furthermore, the consistent agreement between MBM and CFD across varying pressure coefficients and back pressure conditions confirms that MBM is a reliable and computationally efficient tool for preliminary aerodynamic analysis and design optimization of duct augmented turbines. All of these insights are vital for the design of small, efficient turbines suitable for rooftops and off-grid communities. Future research should include structural analysis, environmental wind conditions, and techno-economic evaluations to scale this technology for real-world use. This work was conducted by Aditya Rachman in collaboration with Halu Olio University and the University of Wollongong. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more at the 9th ISFMTS 2025.